here the next part is connecting wedge we will make the connecting wedge with the help of a spindle screw so let's make the body of connecting wedge uh, let's choose top plane a sketch center line exit let's draw here two circles one in origin and one at the end let's define this keep the out center one 38 mm 34 mm and uh, let's make the gap 48 mm mirror mirror this outer circle okay select here line again choose exit now make sure it is tangent here you can see a tangent symbol both should be tangent in both ends let's choose mirror and select both the lines and mirror about this vertical line okay now it's time to extrude it select extruded boss base select all three circles mid plane and uh, thickness 35 mm okay again choose the same sketch extruded now this portion we want to extrude but keep here mid plane and uh, thickness make little less less than this circles okay that's fine select top face sketch we want to make a hole here select both the circles and make relation equal now let's define this smart dimension and keep diameter 22 mm select extruded cut and keep the end condition up to up to next or through all that's fine now select this face normal take a position go to hole wizard we want to make a tap there and think no need to make a tap make a hole there 24 mm hole drill size Twenty four millimeter. Keep through all position. This one. Select OK. Now see, we made the hole with two different ways. Fillet. Now the fillet we will make it. Uh, let's say two millimeter. we will select outer edges here also outer edges okay that's it now it's time to make thread inside so how we will make the thread we will make the thread with the help of screw a spindle screw so first we will import the spindle screw so just go to insert and select here part choose here spindle screw what we made open so keep the spindle screw nearby this body and here make sure it is lock part with move and copy feature okay now it will ask you see in more setting here two options trans translate and rotate you must go to the rotate now here it will ask you if you want to create some any kind of a relation so we we want to create concentric relation select this circle and select this body now see it's going up make sure it should be passed through this hole otherwise it's difficult to cut so select Meta alignment reverse. Now that's 
check that's fine it's passing through this hole select here ok now see now we will make a uh, thread with the help of this body so how we will do it just go to insert go to feature and here you will find one option combine command once you select the combined command select subtract the main body select this is the main body and body to subtract actually it should be subtract not body to not combine it should be subtract select this body now here in bottom you will see a option show preview now see you can see the preview select okay now just change our uh, 22.5 millimeter okay now you can see the spindle i think let's make 22 millimeter so it will be more visible thread that's fine see how we, we cre how we create the inside thread with the help of other parts so this is also a kind of method or the manual method you can just do it as it is uh, what we did in previous uh, with the screw spindle this one we will assign the same cast iron body zero actually somewhere located around here 150 and just select this and increase the now see the pores we can easily identify this is the cast iron body now it's time to save this body part number 6 connecting wedge save that's it now let's see what other parts are there 